It is not quiet in the occupied regional center. In occupied Kherson, there is a rather loud cannonade. Locals are posting online footage of what is happening. Judging by the footage and comments to the published footage, the Ukrainian army struck the Antonivsky Bridge. And exactly at the time when the Russian military were transporting something across it. Kherson. There are explosions near the Antonivsky Bridge. Local resources write. The internet is happily commenting on the explosions near Kherson. The AFU waited patiently for several days for the Russians to start using the Antonivsky Bridge to withdraw their troops. Brigadier General Alexei Gramov, head of the AFU General Staff's main operations directorate, reported that the Russians had built a pontoon crossing over the Dnieper River near the Antonivsky Bridge in Kherson and were trying to hide it from Ukrainian artillery. But the AFU is successfully sinking it. On the previous day, General Sergei Surovikin, commander of the Russian armed forces in Ukraine, announced that he had made a difficult decision regarding Kherson. On the same background, the evacuation of the local population to the left bank was announced. It is possible that in this way the Kremlin is preparing its population for the fact that the Russian side will surrender the right bank of the Kherson region. In this case, the Russian troops will have to hurriedly cross the 1,000 meter wide water barrier. Since all the bridges across the Dnieper were shelled and damaged by the AFU. Therefore, the Russians will rely on pontoon bridges as well as those they have made from barges. 